Halloween is just over a week away, and you may be seeing more bats in your belfry, more in the form of decorations than alive. But have no fear, the live ones, they're not so bad. They're not. So serious, bats no, 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 really aren't not, scary. They're not, they're not. They just, in fact, they actually do a lot of good for Michigan. Our friends at the, Wild, the Michigan Wildlife Council are working hard to help people appreciate all that these creatures do for us. And our Kyla Peoples shows how you can help out as well. Check this out. When the sun goes down, that usually means the day is coming to an end. But for these little critters, it's just getting started. The nighttime is the right time for bats, and Michigan has plenty of them. In Michigan, we have nine different species of bats that are found here. Uh, most commonly, probably around this part of the state, would be the big brown bat. Little brown bats are also fairly common as well. Although bats may frighten people, there's actually nothing to be afraid of. So people here in Michigan don't need to be afraid of Michigan bats. They have excellent uh, echolocation abilities, so they aren't going to fly in your hair or anything like that. Um, you don't really need to be afraid of them. They don't want to bother you just as much as you don't want to bother them. And they play a very important part to our ecosystem. They help uh, eat a lot of insects. All our Michigan bats eat insects. And so they'll eat things like flies, beetles, moths, and also mosquitoes. Um, they also eat a lot of agricultural pests, so uh, beetles or moths, um, different insects that might cause damage to our crops here in Michigan. As they work hard protecting our homes and crops, some Michigan bats are struggling to survive. The um, Indiana bat, which has been on the endangered species list since the 1960s, and then the northern long-eared bat um, was more recently listed in 2015 uh, due to severe population declines from white-nose syndrome. So white-nose syndrome is a fungus that impacts the bats during hibernation. Not only is the state of Michigan working hard to preserve the bat population, but we can help as well. And it can be done right in your backyard. Thanks to help bats, you can put up a bat house. Uh, you can help maintain some habitat for bats around your property, whether it be um, maintaining some of those trees, especially ones with more loose bark. A lot of our bats like to roost um, in trees. And then if you do like to visit caves and mines, be sure to follow any decontamination protocols to make sure you're not inadvertently bringing uh, white-nose syndrome fungus uh, with you from one location to the next. So the birds of the night can continue to protect our area. If you would like to learn more about bats and other species Michigan is working hard to conserve, visit the website of the Michigan Wildlife Council here for miOutdoors.org. And for more information about the nine species of bats in Michigan, go to mi.gov bats.